Shalom and blessings to all out there in this that is in our voice. Thank our Father for all that He is. He is a loving Father. He wants to love on you. He wants to give you what you need in this life. We're in the last days of time. It is becoming demonic times, and we need Him more and more. Hallelujah. So we give out the shout today to you out there that are hurting, to you that are weary, you that are needing a touch of heaven, because He is wanting to hug you in His arms of love. Let Him have His way. Let Him do it to you. Give your all to Him. Your misery, your work, the things that are not right in your life, give it all to Him and receive His love today. This is our word of shouting to you. Hallelujah. Receive Him today. Let Him bless you. Let Him lift you up. Hallelujah. Dr. Michael Lonhart is coming now with a precious word. This is another resurrection service that we need a touch from him and his move that we need in our lives that we can live for him. Bless him today and receive from him today. Amen. 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 Blessings, Apostle Homer Curtis Petty. It's great to be together again, amen. learning and worshiping of our Lord. Father, we open our hearts to you. We ask you to let your spirit teach us and guide us. Speak to us through your word. Help us to see, understand, and know all the promises that you have made for us. And that you are with us wherever we go. In Yeshua's name, Amen. God is with us. Wherever we go, whether we know it or not. Some people will want to argue that point because things happen. But I want you to listen to this. God's Word is filled with promises from our Creator to provide a deliverer. The Bible is the ultimate source of for truth and God is faithful to fulfill his promises Amen. he will fulfill all his promises to us as you read these Bible verses as we go through them and you look you look look them up in the Bible the verses I give and find more find all the promises all the promises he gave Abraham are ours Amen. they're mine they're yours they're yours out there God does not lie and He does not go back on His promises. Claim them over your life. Freedom from addictions. Deliverance from sin and evil. Financial provisions. Hope for lost and hurting family and friends. Overcoming depression. Recovering a marriage. Good health. Healing. Being free from fear and anxiety, strength, and many more are the blessings and gifts that God promises to provide for those who believe in Him. And I'm going to make an old statement. And you can take that to the bank. Because He never goes back on His promises. Let's go to Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. I'm going to be coming out of the New Living Translation. What's more, I am with you. Moses said, well, they're going to ask me, what's your name, dude? When Moses, now this is me talking. What's your name, dude? Moses might not have said it that way, but I do. And he says, I am that I am. And this says, I am with you. So he is with us. And I will protect you wherever you go. One day I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have finished giving you everything I have promised you. He will not leave us till he's finished giving us every promise that he has made to us. 
every single one. Now let's go to Exodus 14. Verse 14. The Lord Himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Oh, you mean I don't have to worry about the election stuff? I voted, but does it count? Uh, I don't see it going how everybody was, say, was saying it was going to go. He says, He will fight for you. Just be calm. Let's go to Exodus 33, 14. The Lord replied, I will personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. And he's saying that to us today. I will go with you. Everything will be fine. For you, it will all be fine. Let's go to Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never fail you nor abandon you. Well, the Lord is sending me over here to do this, but I've never done that. I don't feel comfortable. I'm afraid I'll be alone. Do not be afraid, he says, or discouraged. Amen. For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never fail you nor abandon you. And that comes from the Creator. Let's go to Joshua 1.9. This is my command. He didn't say this is a suggestion. He said this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. He has not given us a spirit of fear. But of peace, love and a sound mind. Now, let's go into the Psalms, chapter 9, verses 9 and 10. Thank you, Father. The Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Does that mean He's left you? Does that mean He is not with you? No. He's your shelter and refuge. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Are we searching for Him today? Never stop searching for Him. Now let's go to Psalms 18.3. This is a psalm of King David. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise. And he saved me from my enemies. Wow. I called on the Lord and he saved me from my enemies. That is not leaving you alone. He is with you wherever you go. Now, Psalms 20, 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? The Lord tells me to go speak to this person I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have the right words. He's your salvation. He's your protector. In times of trouble. He'll give you what to say. Amen. You just obey. 
Psalms 23, verse 4. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. He is close beside us. When we feel our darkest times, He's right there, close beside us. Let's go to Psalms 38, 9, or 32, 8, I'm sorry. You have not handed me over to my enemies, but have set me in a safe place. He has not handed you over to your enemies, but he has set you in a safe place. So don't fear. Don't worry. Don't be discouraged. Psalms 34, 17. The Lord hears, the Lord what? The Lord hears his people when they call to him. He rescues them from all their troubles. Not some, but all their troubles. And he hears us, which means he's always with us. If he's not with us, he can't hear us. Psalms 37, verse 4. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desire. Now, we're going to go to verses 23 and 24, the same chapter. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Amen. That means He's always with me. He's always there for me, no matter what I'm going through. Psalms 50, verse 15. Then call on me when you are in trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. There it is again. Call on me when you're in trouble, and I will rescue you. He can only do that if He's always with you. He never leaves you. Psalms 86, 15. But you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. If He has that much love, then will He leave us alone? No. If we have that much love for one another, wouldn't the world be a lot better place? Yeah. Psalms 91. I was only going to read one verse out of this, but I'm going to read... All of Psalms 91 because the whole thing is important. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadows of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge. Now I want you people to read this and make it personal. If you need to, read, look in the mirror and read it and make it personal. He is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from... He will make it personal. For He will rescue me from every trap and protect me from, every, from deadly disease. 
Does that include COVID? Yes, it does. Does that include the flu? Yes, it does. He says all disease. He will protect you from all disease. And you too, little one. Yes. <laughs> from all disease. He will cover you with His feathers. And He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. His faithful promises which He has to keep are your armor and your protection. Make it personal. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day. When I was young, I spent a lot of time in the woods. And I remember Dad saying that there ain't nothing out there at night that ain't out there during the day. Just different animals sleep at different times, just like people. So I happened to be out there a bit late, and the sun went down, and it gets dark real quick in the woods. And I started getting scared. So I sat down. And I remembered what Dad said. And I looked up and I'm like, okay, take me home. I just, I a little kid. I didn't know a lot about God or nothing, but I had faith. And he took me all the way home without running into anything. And as soon as I hit the edge of the woods, it was lighter. And I knew I was safe. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. A hurricane hit off the coast, and before it hit, when it was coming in, these people went out, and they went around and anointed and blessed their house seven times. Then they got their stuff that they needed to get and they left. After the hurricane was done, they went back and theirs was the only house standing. Don't dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Trust in the Lord. He's got you covered. No matter what it is. When I was told I had a tumor on my upper right lung and then the doctor said he was taking it out and that it was cancer it was the same as him telling me well you got a pimple on your face and I'm going to pop it I had no fear no worry God gave me a peace through the whole thing and now he has taken the cancer he gave me his peace trust in him he will give you his peace Though a thousand fall at your side, then ten thousand are dying around you. These evils will not touch you. So, the COVID had been released, and people are dying, and you're standing there, and you're looking around, and you're seeing people dying all over the place. But you're standing on your faith in God and trusting Him. None of that's coming near you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, you will make the Most High your shelter. No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. For He will order His angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you don't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. That's pretty cool. Trample upon a lion. He's a big. <laughs> and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says... I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. 
When they call me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with long life and give them my salvation. Is that saying that he's going to leave you alone? No. That's saying he's going to be right there no matter what. And he's going to bring you through it. And protect you. Second Chronicles 7.14 Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and restore their land. If we but what? Pray. Seek His face. Turn from the wicked ways. He is always there. Proverbs 3. Verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Chapter 13, verse 11, Proverbs. Wealth from get-rich-quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. Let me put it like this. Wealth gained from playing those games who keep you out of that, keep you out of the Word of God is going to disappear. But wealth gained from going out, getting a job, working hard is going to grow over time. Proverbs 22.6 And this is also for you, little one. Well, actually, actually, it's for Grandma and Grandpa to give it to you. Direct your children unto the right path. And when they are older, they will not leave it. Raise your children in the Word of God. Studying it. Living it. Breathing it. And they will not pass from it. Isaiah 26.3 You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. Amen. All whose thoughts are mixed or fixed on you. He didn't say thoughts being fixed on those playing them ball games. That you're making gods that are not gods. He didn't say the video games that you're playing or the other games that you're playing. He didn't say that. He says, for all those who f are fixed on you, which is the Lord Most High, Yeshua HaMashiach, Isaiah 40, 29, 31. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. I am living proof of this. February of 2019... They hyperextended my neck, took out four discs, and put in plates and screws. 
February of 2020, they put rods and pins in my back. Then they put a stimulation unit in my back. And for years, since those have happened, I haven't been able to do a lot of work. But now the Lord is renewing my strength. Hallelujah. Yes. He's given back what I had lost. Amen. Because I have faith and I trust in Him. And I take Him at His word, His promises. Will new their strength. And the ranch where I've been helping out at, I call it the healing ranch. Because I'm doing things on there now that I haven't been able to do in years. Amen. And he just keeps blowing my mind with things he does. Because I ask him every day for help and assistance. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Even as your soul prospers. Amen. So the more you're into the Word of God, the more you prosper in your soul. Amen. The more you spend time with Him. And I don't mean just walking around and, yes, Lord, okay, yeah, and I'm busy doing it. No, no. Go into your prayer closet. If you don't have one, make one. Or go into a corner somewhere. Tell everybody to leave you alone. Turn your phone off. Get alone with Him. Spend time with Him. Ask Him to take you to the heavenly courts. Amen. Amen. See everything you can see. The more time you spend with Him, the more you know Him, the more you grow to love Him even more. Hallelujah. And it'll get to the point to where no matter what He says, yes Lord, I will do it right now. No questions asked. Your love can grow that strong with Him. Your spouse can fail you. Your best friend can fail you. You can fail yourself. But He will never fail you. Because He will never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in Him. And if you don't know Him, all you have to say is, Father, forgive me. For I have sinned. <clears throat> Yeshua, I accept you into my life as my Lord and Savior. I acknowledge you. And I know that you forgive me of my sins. Yes. Come into my heart and live. And make me a new creation. Hallelujah. And from this moment on, if you said that prayer a minute, you are a new creation. You are a new creature. Father, let this message touch people. Let your Spirit take it to those who need it. And as we go our separate ways and go home, keep us safe on the road. Send your angels out before us to protect us. In Yeshua's holy name. Amen.